Okay, getting my equipment set up. <laughs> okay, hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and you're here with me for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat, so that way I know everything is A-OK. -okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes. Oh, okay, Sleepwalker, thank you. Hello, Sleepwalker. Lolly, thank you so much. Hello, hello. Tomas, thank you, Tomas. Yes, yes. Tetsuro, all right. We, Miley's here. All right. The green team is strong. Candy, how you doing, Candy? Mwah. All right, all right. Samuel, hello. Kai's here. All right. Ella's here. Miley. Hey, Miley. Mwah. Good to see Miley. Okay. Adali. Hello. Or, or Adal. Funda. Adali. Okay. Mary McCain. Okay. Great, great. Jay Sheree. Yay. Asia. Hello. Okay. Ben. Hello. Mitra. Wow. We got a great group in the house. That's fantastic. That makes me very happy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your time. We're going to be here for two hours, everyone. So I hope you are comfortable. I hope you're well. I hope you're ready to practice English with me and with the chat. Yes, everyone in the chat, our wonderful group. This is great practice for you. For you. you are here. You're in good company. Yeah, so um, let's do it yeah okay well um before we start we always have a toast for good luck yes so let's do our toast for good luck so please pick up a beverage here's my beverage right here it's a hot cup of coffee okay so our first toast we're going to do two toasts our first toast is to the green team right they support me they support the channel by supporting me and the channel they are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team, you see them, their names are in green. Let's give them a big thank you. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Okay, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, let's have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Ah, it's very, very hot. <laughs> okay. Well. I saw some more green team. Yes, A for Anna's here. All right, Marion is here. Yay. Okay, welcome, green team and everybody else. Yes, Mean is here. Okay, good, good. Who else came in? Yeah, Anna's here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, well, um, today's topics are we're going to do make a sentence. I have four cards here. We're going to make a sentence. Then after that, we will do um, which, which, which is, and there's a couple of choices. I'll give you a couple of choices. Yes. Then we're going to do dictation cards and we will do Lolly's Revenge. So we're going to be busy. I hope you are ready to practice with me. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it, shall we? Okay, let's start. And our first activity is which, no, our first activity is make a sentence or form a sentence. Let's form a sentence. So I'm gonna write it here on the board. Form a sentence. So basically that means make a sentence, all right? So there are four cards to form a sentence. So. I need to write four spaces for the cards. One, two, three, and four. Four spaces for the cards. 
And of course, I need four magnets to go with the four spaces. One, two, three, four. Here are the magnets right here. We got colorful magnets, of course. We have a purple one. We have a pink one. We have a red one and a yellow one. Yes, purple, pink, red, and yellow. Yay. Okay, well, here are the cards. So I'm going to show you each card, and then we're going to build on each card to make a final sentence. Okay, so here we go. Now, um, I'm going to tell me what this represents, or what, what does this mean? What, what does this mean? What does it represent? Hey, oh, Umesh, welcome to the green team, Umesh. Nice going, Umesh. Thank you for your kind support. You did it. Umesh is now part of the green team. Nice, Umesh. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to the green team. Okay, so what, what do these represent in a sentence? Okay, they're pronouns, but we can also say what part of the sentence are these pronouns? What part of the sentence are these pronouns? Very good, Samuel. <laughs> Mary, purple and pink are always, always go well together. Purple and pink always go well together. So we don't need the R, Mary. Purple and pink always go well together. Yeah, pers okay, good, good. So. Yeah, Umesh, good, good. That's right, so they're the subject of the sentence. So they're the subject of the sentence. So here, our first part is the subject. All right, so we have I, you, he, she, they, we. So those are subject, right? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna write this on the board, subject. So I'm gonna put that right up there. Okay, so subject. So this is the pattern, subject. Now for our second card. Now what is this? Hey Sewu, how you doing? Mwah, good to see Sewu. Sewu's in the house. Mary Poppins, how you doing? Mano May's here, how you doing Mano May? Okay, what does this picture represent in the sentence, perhaps? Alice is here. Helga is here. What, what would this picture represent in the sentence? Okay, um, mean pointing. Okay, what's another way of, like, if you're pointing, ah, see, this is very difficult. If you're pointing, what, yeah, direction. Thank you very much, Mary. Yeah, so um, what's a verb that we use to mean direction? What is a verb we use to go in a direction? What is a, what is a verb we can use? Miley, good, yeah, so what would be the verb? I'm looking for a verb. Have to, not quite. Show, okay, that's very close. Yeah, Lolly, good, Mary. Yeah, okay, good, good. So, um, go to, go to. <laughs> so, I know you get, it's hard. I don't want to just tell you, <clears throat> I, I know th this, it, it's hard, but I don't want to just tell you, I don't want to just tell you, right? I'd rather, I think it, it's, it's better if we think about it first, right? So, I don't want to just give you the, the, the pattern. I want you to, to try to discover it, okay? I want you to, discover it. Okay, so go to. So that's our part, second part of our sentence. Subject plus go to. Okay, so now let's do our third card. And what does this represent, this picture? What does this picture represent?
<laughs> hey, simple, you know, like things aren't always difficult, right, Mary? It's not always difficult. Yeah, good, Sewu. Yep. Good, Tomas. Very good. Yep. Place. Okay, good, good. So place. Location, yep. Yeah. Same, same meaning. Location, place. Yes. Same, same meaning. Okay, so subject, go to, place. Okay, we have one more card. And our last is, now, I don't have anything to, um, well, okay, let, let's, what, what is this in, what is this, what grammar point is this? What grammar structure is this? What grammar structure is this? What is this, what grammar uh, topic or grammar part or uh, what's the word like grammar structure is this yeah good Ella yeah Helga yes yes good Elena yeah okay good yeah infinitive verb good 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 two plus base yeah infinitive very good so that's our pattern today And, and, and the infinitive also, like, you can, you can use it as, like, in order to, right? So it can mean in order to, right? So the infinitive, we can replace it. We could replace the infinitive verb with in order to, in order to. Okay, so we're going to have subject, go to, place, plus infinitive verb. Okay, so I want to see some sentences. Yeah, now it's time to create, form a sentence. Yeah, so like for example, we could say you. I'm just, I just saw you there, so I'll just say you. You go to, you go to, let's see, how about you go to Mm, you go to the store. <laughs> okay, and so we want the infinitive verb, and it's um, it's a it's 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 a purpose, right? The purpose. So you go to the store to buy fruit. Okay, you go to the store to buy fruit. So in remember, I said infinitive. We could we can um, change we could replace it with in order to, right? So we could say, you go to the store in order to buy fruit, right? So you, that way you, you know it's an infinitive verb, right? So you go to the store to buy fruit or you go to the store in order to buy fruit, right? So that makes sense, right? So this is our sentence pattern. So I wanna see some sentences. Lolly says, every day I go to the market to buy vegetables and fruit. Good, good, good. Helga, I go to Mark's lesson to learn English. That's fantastic. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Thank you, Helga. All right, Tomas, she, okay, now she goes, right? So remember, um, the subject, the, the verb go changes, right? Depending on the subject. So. I go, you go, he goes, she goes, they go, we go. So he and she, we have to have the ES, goes, right? So he, she goes. He, she goes. Okay, Umesh. He goes to the market to buy groceries. Manome, I go to the market to buy vegetables. Miley, I go to Rome to rest. Sleepwalker, I go, they go to the amusement park to have fun. Maya's here, Maya, hello Maya. Mwah. Yay, Maya's here. 
Lolly says, my mother goes to the market every day to buy food. Samuel, they go to the gym to work out hard. Hardly. Hardly. They go to the gym to hardly work out. To hardly work out. That, that's a little different, but... Okay, Kiri, I go to the supermarket to buy sugar. Mary McCain, they go to the gym to lose some weight. Helga, they go to the amusement park to have fun. Mary Poppins, I often go to the local park to relax. Very nice. Elena, I read books not to be stupid. <laughs> Candy, I go to the library to study English. Seru, I like to get up early in the morning. Okay, not exactly this pattern, Seru, but that's a good sentence. Marion, I go to the cafe shop to drink coffee. Miley, they go to the gym to train. Umesh, I go... Oh, okay, I go to the hotel to eat. I go to the hotel to eat. Umesh. Okay, Jay Shree, I go to the hospital to get medicine. Hannah, we go to a good restaurant to eat dinner sometimes. Sleepwalker, we go to the cinema to watch to watch some new movies. We don't need some. Sleepwalker, we go to the cinema to watch new movies. I think that's better. My, turn. She, my sister goes to the gym to exercise. So we went in order to exercise. So remember, we, by using infinitive, you can change it to in order to. So if, you're, if your sentence, if you can... If you could add in order to, then you're using the infinitive. So, for example, um, my sister goes to the gym in order to train. That works well, right? So we wouldn't say my sister goes to the gym for in order to no fitness. No, we don't do that. So you, if you if you say if you put in in order to, and if that makes sense, then you're using the infinitive correctly. Okay, Helga, she goes to the movie theater to watch a new movie. Jay Shri, they go to the Wonderland to have fun. <laughs> Mary McCain, I go to the zoo to take care of animals. Umesh, my mother goes to the temple to pray. Kiri, she goes to the office to work. Miley, he goes to the dentist to improve his smile. Sleepwalker, I go to watch a sunset, sunrise. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sorry for that. <clears throat> Let's see, one more time. Sleepwalker, I go to watch sunrise to get a beautiful view. Um, okay, Sleepwalker, we have to fix your sentence. Um, I go to... I go to see a sun... Okay, I go to watch the sunrise. Okay, I go to watch the sunrise to get a beautiful view. Okay, okay. So, I go to watch the sunrise to get a beautiful view. Kai, I go to the beach to relax every year. Tetsuro, I go to a convenience store to buy a newspaper. Helga, they went to the beach to have some... Oh, oh, oh okay, to sunbathe. Okay, Helga, they went to the beach to sunbathe. They went to the beach to sunbathe. Marion, we go to the restaurant to eat fish. Umesh, he goes to the garden to play. He goes to the garden to play. Gallet, she goes to work from home. Good, good, good. Okay, um, no, we need the infinitive, too. So she goes to work to 
work. Or she goes to her office to work. She goes to her office to work. Say, I go to the restroom to watch Mark's live stream. <laughs> From your, oh, I see. Because you're working right now, Seiru. <laughs> so, Seiru is escaping to the restroom to watch this live stream. Seiru is escaping to the restroom to watch this live stream. Thank you for doing that. Don't get in trouble, Seiru. Please don't get in trouble. Samuel says, Tomas goes to the pub to drink some beers. Me too. Let's go to the pub. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Lolly says, my family and I go to the park to get some fresh air. Okay, good job, everyone. I think these are great sentences. I think um, we can move on. I think um, we can go ahead and move on. You did great. This is the pattern we practice today. We will review this on Friday again. So don't worry if you're a little confused. We will practice more on Friday, okay? So um, today is the first time we did this. And so we will review these cards on Friday. So let's go ahead and go to our next activity. And that is which is, which or what's the difference? Okay, let's do the difference. Let's do, what's the difference? Let's do that today. What's the difference? What's the difference? Okay, what's the difference? What's the difference? And our first card, we have lots of cards, yes. Okay, here we go. What's the difference? And this is our second activity. So this was our first activity, and this is our second activity. What's the difference? Okay, here we go. What's the difference between a conga drum and a tambourine? <laughs> okay, one more time. Here we go. What's the difference between a conga drum and a tambourine. <laughs> Risol, I don't know. What is the difference, Risol? <laughs> okay, one more time. What's the difference? between a conga drum and a tambourine. Okay, Ella says, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> a rattling sound. A, a tambourine has metal parts. Very good, Helga. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture because maybe some people, what is a conga drum? What is a tambourine? So I'm going to show you pictures so you can see what a conga drum is and a tambourine. Okay, Samuel, you got it. Okay, what is the difference between a conga drum and a tambourine? There's the tambourine, and there's the conga drum. Okay, what's the difference between a conga drum and a tambourine? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh, so so Helga has a nice Helga has a great answer. A tambourine has metal parts. So on a tambourine, th there's like little symbols, like you know, like a big drum, like a drum kit. There'll be big symbols. <laughs> where where a tambourine has little symbols, little symbols. Okay, Lolly's on the board. A tambourine is bigger. Than a conga drum, maybe. I don't know. No, I don't think so, Lolly. No. Sleepwalker. Sounds are different. A conga drum usually stand in, on the floor. Okay, a conga usually stands on the floor. Mary McCain. 
conga drum is made of wood. It's a wooden instrument. Very good, Mary. Tetsuro, we have to hold a tambourine with our hands. Good, Tetsuro. We have to hold a tambourine with our hands. With our hands. Umesh, uh, metal are attached to a tambourine. Yeah, so there's like symbols, right? So little symbols. Okay. What's the difference between a conga drum and a tambourine? Yeah, Sleepwalker. Stands on the floor. Very good. Miley, a conga drum accompanies ethnic music, the tambourine, popular music. Okay, good. Yeah, so, so who is using these instruments, right, Miley? So the difference, a difference is the people using the, the um, instruments and the type of music they are playing, right? Who is using the instrument and the type of music they are playing. Very good, Miley. Sebu says, conga drum can't shake it to make a sound. Oh, very good, Sebu, yes. So a tambourine, you shake it. That's right, but not a conga drum. Yes, Sebu, good answer. Tetsuro says, we have to hold the tambourine with our hands. Good, good, good. Tomas, the conga stands on the floor. Good. Sleepwalker, uh, we can use a tambourine while dancing, keeping it in our hands. Yeah, do do do. Yes, yes, yes. Shaking and dancing. Good, good, Sleepwalker. <laughs> I want to see you do that. <laughs> I want to see you do it. Okay, Mary McCain, we shake a tambourine in order to play it, but the other one we do not. Very good. Umesh. Both are percussion instruments, yes. Yeah, they're both percussions. You, 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 you hit them with your hands, right? Okay, both. Um, Ella, we shake a tambourine to get music, but the drum, but we drum a Congo drum. Yeah, so we, we drum it. Well, I, I, conga, we use our hands for both, right? But the tambourine we shake and the conga we, we hit. Con, 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 con. We hit it with our hands. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, that's good. Let's do another one, shall we? Let me get a magnet. Let's do another one, shall we? Okay, here we go. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? See, Marion says, the tambourine is held in the hand and the conga drum sits on the floor. Very good, Marion. Okay, here we go. Card number two, everyone. Oh, Sebu. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee. Mwah, I love you. Sebu, love you. Thank you so much for the coffee, Sebu. Thank you for the coffee always buying me coffee. Sewu is always buying me coffee. Thank you. Mwah. Cheers. Cheers, Sewu. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers to coffee. <laughs> cheers to coffee lovers. Yes. Cheers to coffee lovers everywhere. Cheers to coffee lovers in South Korea. <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number two, everyone. Card number two. What's the difference between pizza and sushi? Woo! -hoo! Two of my favorite foods. Two of my favorite foods. And you know my favorite drink is? Yes, it's coffee. This is my favorite drink. And these are two of my favorite foods. What's the difference between pizza and sushi? I got a little bit of energy. So Seiru got, gave me some energy, Seiru. Thank you for the energy, yeah. Got a little bit of exciting energy from Seiru. 
Okay, what's the difference between pizza and sushi? Oh, Sleepwalker's on the board. Sleepwalker says we eat sushi with chopsticks. Very good. Yes, Elena says different ingredients. Yes. Helga says sushi is mostly made from rice and fish. Yes, that's right. Lolly says sushi is better for your health. Very good. Yes, Risol. Sushi comes from Japan and pizza comes from Italy, Nepal, or Naples. Yes, yes, Naples. What's the difference between pizza and sushi? Very good. Let's see, Maya, oh, wait, 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 Miley says, sushi is protein, pizza is carbohydrates, yes. Maya says, there's flour in pizza, sushi has right, great, you guys, great answers. Woo, nice answers, lots of different answers, very, very exciting answers, very exciting answers. Hannah, pizza is Italian food and sushi is Japanese food. Tetsu, oh, different stuffing. Well, okay, Elena, this is kind of like I'm thinking. Um, stuffing goes inside, right? So sushi, we can say, you know, there's stuff that goes in the sushi, right? But pizza, things go on top. So we can say one of the differences ingredients goes in sushi and ingredients go on pizza all right so ingredients go on pizza and ingredients go in sushi okay mean says we eat sushi with chopsticks we eat pizza with our hands say we says sushi sushi uses raw fish. Yeah, okay, so Sewu, sushi, we don't it, we don't need it. Sewu, just sushi uses raw fish, that's good. Alice, sushi, sushi is made of rice and pizza is made of flour, good. Mitra, pizza made from beef and chicken, but sushi is, has, how about this? Mitra, pizza has, or how about pizza, can have, right? Because it's it's possible, right? So pizza can have chicken and beef and sushi can have fish. So um, it's possible. Anna, sushi can be eaten raw, but pizza has to be cooked. Very good, Anna, yes. So sushi can be eaten raw, but sushi has to be cooked, or no, pizza. <laughs> sushi can be eaten raw, but pizza has to be cooked. Very good, I like that, Anna, good answer. Mary Poppins sushi is made from fish and rice. Sleepwalker sushi is, whoa, I missed, I missed that, I missed that. Sleepwalker sushi is best eaten fresh. That is very, very true, Sleepwalker, very true. Risol says, pizza can be eaten anytime. Not to, that I agree too. Like I'm not, I can eat pizza in the morning, but I'm not like a morning pizza, per, or not, not sushi in the morning, but pizza can be eaten in the morning for sure. Umesh, pizza can be made into slices. Well, sushi can be made into slices too. Like, so for example, um, like a California roll or like, like a seaweed roll or a wrap, and then you can cut those in slices. So, so actually sushi can be cut in slices, but that's with the, with the seaweed wrap. So when, when the sushi is wrapped in seaweed, then it can be cut. And they call that maki sushi. So, so when, when, when the sushi is wrapped in seaweed and it's round and long, we call that in Japan, maki sushi. Yeah, oh, nice one, Tomas. Sushi is rolled, right? Not pizza, pizza isn't rolled, except for a calzona. Calzona is 
like rolled or it's like a pocket, I guess. Okay, Tetsuro says, my favorite sushi is fatty tuna called toro. Yeah, I don't, Tetsuro, um, I'm, not, I'm not a toro guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, yeah, there's a, definitely the, the, the fatty tuna, which is expensive, it, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, Seibu, sushi uses raw fish. Very good. Oh, Elena, very, this is, you guys are very creative. She says, children like pizza more than sushi. Very creative. I believe that, except maybe in Japan. <laughs> maybe other countries that's true, but maybe here in Japan, children like sushi more than pizza. <laughs> Mary, uh, Maya, Maya says, the, the best sushi is in Japan and the best Pizza is in Italy. Very good, Maya. Yes, good, good. Actually, at Costco, you can buy frozen pizza made in Italy. It's very good. I had that. I bought that a couple weeks ago, and it was excellent frozen pizza made in Italy. It was very, very good. Ah, Sleepwalker. That's very interesting. Sleepwalker says pizza can be eaten cold or hot. Mm. So Sleepwalker says pizza can be eaten cold or hot. I agree. Ah, Risol says sushi is expensive, pizza is cheap. I don't know. Here in Japan, pizza is expensive here in Japan. Candy says pizza tastes better when it is hot. Yeah, I, ah uh, ha ha. So, hot sushi is not very good. <laughs> but, hot pizza, so how about this, Candy? Hot pizza tastes better than hot sushi, but cold sushi tastes better than cold pizza. I like that, one more time. Hot pizza tastes better than hot sushi. But, cold sushi tastes better than cold pizza, yes. Maya, me too, I like both. I do too. Tetsuro, yeah, it's expensive and not so delicious. <laughs> Seiru says, pizza can be frozen and can be eaten warm by microwave, but sushi cannot. Good, 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 good. Tetsuro, I love I also love pizza. Me too, Tetsuro. I don't know. In, in, here in Japan, we, we have excellent pizza. So in Japan, there's lots of um, small pizza restaurants, and they make their pizza like Italian pizza. So we have good pizza in Japan, but it's expensive, and it's small. Small and expensive. Maya. Oh, so I haven't been to Italy. Let's see, think. Okay. Okay, okay. Pizza can get, yeah, Mitra. So um, pizza can be fattening. Yes, it can. Pizza can be fattening. Oh, Gary says, a baked Italian dish of a thinly rolled bread and tomatoes and cheese versus Japanese dish made of small portions of sticky white rice with raw fish, vegetable, and meat. Yeah, they're both, Gary, both excellent. Both are excellent. Both are very, very delicious, for sure. Yes, Sleepwalker. Tetsuro and I, we live in Japan, so we know sushi very well. <laughs> but I'm sure Tetsuro knows more about sushi than I do. I'm, I'm just a, we call, I'm an expat in Japan. And so I know sushi from my experience, but maybe Tetsuro 
knows more, his, Tetsuro's knowledge of sushi is deeper than my knowledge, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, good job everyone, excellent topic, yeah, pizza and sushi, you can't go wrong, can you? Pizza and sushi, you can't go wrong. Pizza and sushi, you can't go wrong. Pizza and sushi, you can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, let's change activities. Let's do dictation cards. Yay! Okay, okay, okay. So right here, I have dictation cards. I have the cards and you need a pencil and paper. I have the cards and you need a pencil and paper. <laughs> I'm an expat, ex so I'm not originally from Japan. I'm originally from the U.S., California, but I've been in Japan for a long time. Okay, okay. Well, here are the dictation cards, and today's topic is used to, used to. Yeah, Resol has a pencil and paper. Fantastic. Okay, so our topic today, I got room right there. Used to. All right, and so accustomed to something. Okay, and our pattern we're using today, the pattern we're using today, we're using subject plus the be verb plus used to plus noun. Okay, and subject plus got plus use to plus verb ing. Okay, those are our two, our two um, patterns, okay? And of course, we are going to do four steps. Step one, uh, dictation, right? Then, step two, shadow. Step three, on your own. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That should be a W, not an M. We want a W, not an M. No, not an M, a W. On your own, and a quiz. Okay, so those are our four steps to success. Okay, so Marcos is here. Hey, Marcos. Yay, Marcos is in the house. Ah, uh, Risol. That, that is, yeah, that is a lot of people's dream, Risol, for sure. I've been on Route 66, but a long time ago, <laughs> but not in a Mustang. <laughs> I used to have a Cougar. When I was a high school student, I had a, a, 60, a 1967 Cougar, which is kind of like not as cool as a Mustang. A, a cheap version of a Mustang. Yeah, Lolly says, um, be used to, get used to something. Um, yeah, let's see, Lolly. Let's see. Be used to. Um, get used to. Um, okay, a little different. So, be used to, you're like, you have experience. Where get used to, you're not yet quite experienced. So, for example, Oh, I'm used to this hot weather, right? Because I have experience. I'm used to this hot weather. So I have experience. 
But when I first came to Japan, I was getting used to the hot weather, right? So I didn't have the experience before. But when I moved to Japan in August, it was very hot. And it's like, whoa, I've never experienced this before. But I was starting to get used to the hot weather. But now I have experience, so I'm used to the hot weather. Okay, Lolly? That's a good question, Lolly. Okay. All right. Good, Lolly. Good, good, good. Good question. Yes, Lolly. And um, thank you for asking. Maya says, oh, as, Cal as California, as Japan are very beautiful in nature. Yeah, Maya. Maya, for sure. They both have um, beautiful places, for sure, Maya. Okay, let, let's, let's, let's get going now. So um, we're going to do dictation. Our, our topic is used to. And our patterns, subject be, used to noun. Subject got, used to verb ing. Those are the two patterns. And um, we're going to do dictation. So you need a pencil and paper. And you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Listening and writing. You will not see the picture. You will not see the sentence. You will just purely listen and write. So it's a challenge, but that's why you're here. Okay, so let's do it. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We are not used to the information age yet. I don't know. Helga, they both have... They're, they both have their beautiful places for sure. I wouldn't, I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Second time. I'm going to read it three times, each card three times. This is the second time. We are not used to the information age yet. Third time, we are not used to the information age yet. Okay, card number two. She is used to marriage now. She is used to marriage now. She is used to marriage now. Okay, card number three. We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. Hey, Shams, hello. Okay, here we go, third time. We got used to living in our new city. Number four. He is used to his new school now. He is used to his new school now. He is used to his new school now. Number five. He got used to making breakfast. He got used to making breakfast. He got used to making breakfast. Okay, number six. 
She got used to waking up early. She got used to waking up early. She got used to waking up early. Okay, number seven. I got used to driving on the left. I got used to driving on the left. I got used to driving on the left. Number eight. I am used to my new job now. I am used to my new job now. I am used to my new job now. Okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. That was dictation. We did it, you did it. All right, let's check it off. Well done. Now it's time to shadow. That is speaking practice. This was listening and writing. Shadowing is listening and speaking at the same time as I am. So you, you're, you are using two skills at the same time, listening skills and speaking skills at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, here we go. Step two, shadow. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> we are not used to the information age yet. We are not used to the information age yet. We are not used to the information age yet. We are not used to the information age yet. So, <laughs> the information age, that is when technology is everywhere. AI is in many, many parts of the, the world, the economy, our life, right? So, um, there are cameras everywhere. Uh, we need the internet. AI tells us, gives, well, everything is electronic these days. So. We are not used to the information age yet. Wow, so it is pi, it is the information age. So there is more than we know, I'm sure. So there, there, how can I say this? The, the information age is, is, makes a larger impact in our life than we know, for sure. So you don't even realize, you don't realize how much the, the information age is controlling you. <laughs> Not controlling, but part of like your everyday life. So we don't even know how, how, much, how much of the information age is part of our life. We don't even know. That's scary, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Card number two. So Maya says, I thought, I thought it's about the information about our age. <laughs> no, Maya, the information age, how, how um, electronics and how, how digital and how, you know, the, how, how information is controlling our lives. I don't know how to say it, but Big Brother. We have... Big Brother is everywhere. That, that's a simpler way to say Big Brother. So Big Brother is watching us. Big Brother is, is um, telling us what to do. Big Brother is controlling us for sure, for sure. 
Okay, here we go. Number two. She is used to marriage now. 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 Okay, so yeah, so we have to get used to marriage life, right? Married, the married life. To be married, we need to get used to it, right? Because it's different, right? Than when you're single. Marriage is different than when you are single, for sure. <laughs> Card number three. Yes, Tomas, we are under control from Big Brother. Big Brother is controlling us, Tomas. Here we go, number three. We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. So we just moved to this big city. And at first it was difficult. We got lost. There's so many people, so many shops. Like, where, where do I go? I'm lost again because it's a big city. But now we got used to it. And now we, we, know, all the, we know how to get around the city now because we're used to it. So now we can get, a lot, we can get around quite easily now. Okay, number four. He is used to his new school now. 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 So he moved to a new school. So new students, new friends. So at the beginning, it's difficult making new friends, adjusting to a new school, but now he did it. He's used to his new school now. Number five. He got used to making breakfast. 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 So before he went to the convenience store or he, he um, stopped by a restaurant for breakfast. He stopped by a convenience store for breakfast. But now he's making his own breakfast at home. And now he's used to it. And so it's healthier and it's cheaper. So it's better to make breakfast at home than to go to a convenience store or go to a restaurant. So he, it, he got used to making breakfast. Okay, number six. She got used to waking up early. 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 So her new job, she needs to get up earlier. And so at the beginning, it's hard, right? It's hard waking up earlier um, because you're used to going to bed maybe late, and so now you have to go to bed earlier to wake up earlier. So it takes time to get used to, right? But now she got used to waking up early. Number seven, I got used to driving on the left. 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 So I'm from America, I'm from California, and we drive on the right side. So when I came to Japan, whoa, we're driving, people are driving on the left. So I, have, I had to get used to driving on the left. But now I am used to driving on the left. I got used to driving on the left. Okay, here we go. Number eight. I am used to my new job now. 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 So now I have a new job and 
it takes time to get used to it, right? You have a new boss, you have new managers, new office, new um, co-workers. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to the system. Maybe you have um, new rules and new um, customers. And so it takes time to get used to a new job. But now I am used to my new job. So good, good, good. Okay, that was shadowing. That was speaking practice. Well done. Let's check it off. Okay, now on your own. So what I'm, we're going to do now, I have a card. And now we will take turns saying the sentence. But when you are saying the sentence, you will not see the sentence. So you have to say the sentence based only on the picture. So it's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, so I will say the sentence and then you will say it. So when I'm saying the sentence, please listen. And then when you are saying the sentence, I will listen. Okay, here we go. We are not used to the information age yet. Here, now it's your turn. We are not used to the information age yet. We are not used to the information age yet. She is used to marriage now. 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 We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. We got used to living in our new city. He is used to his new school now. He is used to his new school now. He is used to his new school now. He got used to making breakfast. He got used to making breakfast. He got used to making breakfast. She got used to waking up early. 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 I got used to driving on the left. I got used to driving on the left. I got used to driving on the left. I am used to my new job now. I am used to my new job now. I am used to my new job now. Okay, yes, that was on your own. Very good, very good. Let's check that off. You did it. Okay, now it's time for the quiz. I will mix up. You can't hear no sound. 
does anyone have problems with the sound? Please tell me if there is problems with the sound. Okay, I'm mixing up the cards and I will randomly take three cards and those, okay, good, Lolly. okay. On my, I see, I can see the, um, I, I can see the, my sound bar and on my computer, it looks okay. Okay, thank you, Helga. Okay, good, Tetsuro. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, I'm going to take three cards. I'm going to cover the sentence. I want you, thank you, Jayshree. Thank you, Marcos. So I want you to, I want you to write the sentence in the chat, please. Write the sentence in the chat. Here we go. Here we go. Card number one. What is the sentence? Please write it in the chat. Thank you, Jay Shree. That's good. Okay. Sleepwalker is on the board. He is used to him new school. Helga, he is used to his new school now. Lolly, we got used to living in our city. Kai, he is used to his new school now. Maya, Tetsuro, he is used to his new school now. Alice, he is used to his new school now. Marion, he is used to his new school now. Samuel, he is used to his new school now. Elena, he is used to his new school now. Umesh, he got used to his new school now. Okay, let's check the sentence, shall we? Mary Poppins, I see you. Candy, he is used to his new school now. Okay, let's check it out. He is used to his new school now. Okay, very good. Good, 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 good. All right. Now, here we go. Card number two. Card number two. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat, please. What is the sentence? What is the sentence, please? Number two, card number two. Okay, Lolly's on the board. We are not used to the information age yet. Sleepwalker, we are not used to the information age yet. Kai, we are not used to the information age yet. Helga, we are not used to the information age yet. Alice, we are not used to the information age yet. Marion, we are not used to the information age yet. Let's check the sentence, shall we? We are not used to the information age yet. Very good. Umesh, we are not used to the information age yet. So Umesh, we need the the information age okay here we go card number three last card and what is the sentence please write the sentence in the chat please write the sentence in the chat Oh, Lolly's on the board. She is used to marriage now. She is used to marriage now. She is used to marriage now. OK. 
Good, good, good. Um, Tetsuro, so I, I see you, you have a um, you, Mrs. G classroom. So actually, you can, um, so if you, Tetsuro, if you go to the members only community page, you can, you can, um, we can, we can talk there. So you can find Miss G there. So if you go to the members only community page, or you go to the community page and you go to the um, members only parts, then you can find Mrs. G. Okay, okay, let's check the sentence. She is used to marriage now. All right, very good, everyone. Well done. Three cards, you did it on your own. We did used to, so good, 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 good. Yeah, Tetsuro, so, right? So everyone in the community page, I put posts and worksheets and things like that. And there's also, for the members of the channel, there's also members only um, information and um, content, right? So there's members only content. And so, uh, Tetsuro, you can, you can contact Mrs. G that way because Mrs. G classroom, she's a member of the, she's a member of the green team. And every week I, I, uh, I ask you questions. And so that's a good way to um, find people, ask me questions there. Okay, Tetsuro? Okay, good, good. Yes, Candy, she is used to marriage now. Very good. Okay, um, let's go now. Let's change activities. Let's go to Lolly's Revenge. All right, it is Lolly's Revenge time. So right here we have Lolly's Revenge. It's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue, and there are four steps as well four steps as well, and I'm going to write them down right here, because <laughs> we have some space right here. So, like I said, four steps. So step one is the conversation. Step two, questions and answers. Step three, reading. Step four, shadowing. Okay, so we have four steps. One, two, three, four. And our first step is the conversation. <clears throat> and it's between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue. And here we go. This is step one, the conversation. Please listen carefully because step two, I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation. So. Please listen carefully so you can answer the correct questions. All right, so this is Joe. Okay, this is Joe and this is Sue. Joe is first. So here we go. Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right. But what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. We should, we should say something. Good. When are you going to talk to them? I said we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. Okay, so we can do it again. This is Joe. Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right, but what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. We should say something. 
Good. When are you going to talk to them? I said we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. <laughs> yes. Yes, Helga. You want to do it again? Are you ready for the answers? Questions and answers? Or do you want me to read the conversation again? What shall we do? What shall we do? One more time or question time? One more time or question time? What should we do? Okay, Lolly says, Last time, more slowly, please. Okay, sounds good. Sleepwalker has LT. Last time. Umesh, one more time. Okay, good. Tetsuro, last time. Good, good, good. Okay, okay. Adali, see you. Okay, Samuel, last time. Mary Poppins, one more time. Okay, no problem. Here we go. One more time, more slowly. Here we go. No problem, Lolly. That's, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, Lolly. <laughs> Maya, okay. Okay, Maya. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry. You'll get used to them. All right. But what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. We should say something. Good. When are you going to talk to them? I said we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was the conversation. Now it's time for the questions. All right, so there's four questions. So in the chat, please write your answer in the chat. All right, so here we go. Question time. Question number one. What is hurting Joe? What is hurting Joe? Devi, hello, Devi. Question number one. What is hurting Joe? Me. Thank you, me. See ya. Take it easy, me. Question number one. What is hurting Joe? Yes, Lolly. Elana or Irana I Irena. Sorry, Irena. Yes. Yes, Umesh. Helga. Joe's new shoes are hurting him. Yes. Marcos, his new shoes are hurting him. Yes. His new shoes, Sleepwalker says. Tetsuro, he, he is well, he is hurting his feet. What is hurting, like, what is hurting his feet? So, Tetsuro, what is hurting his feet? What, the shoes are hurting his feet, right? Miley, Joe is hurt by the new shoes. Good. Ella, Joe's feet are hurting from his new shoes. Ella, from his new shoes. Jay Shri, Joe's, Joe's new shoes are hurting him. Okay, Jay Shree, Joe's new shoes are hurting him. Yes, Candy, the shoes. Mary Poppins, his new shoes hurt his feet. Very good. Tetsuro, his new shoes. Yes. Jay Shree, Joe's new shoes are hurting him. Jay Shree, Joe's new shoes are hurting him. Ella, from his new shoes. Okay, well, it's better. That's from his, it, his shoes, or 
His new shoes are hurting his feet. His new shoes are hurting his feet. One more time. His new shoes are hurting his feet. Okay, good. Let's go number two. Here we go. Question number two. What does Sue say about it? What does Sue say about it? What does Sue say about it? That's question number two. What does Sue say about it? What does Joe, or no, what does Sue say about it? Marion, new, his new shoes are hurting his feet. His new shoes. Maya, Joe's new shoes hurt his feet. Yep, you can, that's good. Maya, sleepwalker, don't worry, Joe, she said. Uh, don't worry, Joe, yeah, but what's, that's right, she said that, but what, what's more important? What, what, what is the, the main thing she said? Sleepwalker, what's the main thing? Lolly says, she said he'll get used to them. Yes, Lolly, that's good. Marcos, Joe, you'll get used to them. Yes, Marcos. Sleepwalker, you will get used to them. Sleepwalker, them, shoes, them. You will get used to them. Samuel, Sue said... You will get used to them. Samuel, Sue said he'll get used to them. Or you'll, Sue says, oh, okay, okay, Samuel, hold on, sorry, sorry. Sue says you'll get used to them. Okay, okay, you will. So you need the will. That's okay, that, that's good, Samuel. Sue says you'll get used to them. That's okay, but we need you will. Miley, Sue says he'd be used to it. No, Miley. Sue says he'll, he will get used to them. Sue says, okay, if you say Sue says, then like you'll get used to them. Like so, so this is when you say Sue says that you are now using her words. You are now using her voice. So she said, you'll get used to them. So if you say, Sue says, you'll get used to them. Sue says, you'll get used to them. But if you just say, oh, she said, um, he'll get used to them. You can say that. She, you have two choices. Two choices. Choice one, Sue says, you'll get used to them. Choice two, Sue said he'll get used to them. Or you can say, <laughs> choice three, Sue said to Joe, you'll get used to them. Or you can say, she said Joe will, she said Joe will get used to them. Okay, Miley, Sue says, you get used to, you will, you will get used to them. Because it's future, right? So, now they hurt his feet, but in the near future, they won't. You will get used to them. You will get used to them. Okay, question number three. What's happening with the new neighbors? Question three, what's happening with the new neighbors? Question three, what's happening with the new neighbors? Oh, Marcos, nice, quotation marks. So that, now see, you put them in quotation marks, and there it's very easy to see, right? So spoken English and written English, right? So we have two, right? There's a difference. There's spoken English, right? So... Um, we just, you hear with your ears, but you don't see with your eyes, right? So, oh, what did Sue say about it? Oh, she said he'll get used to them, right? But in, in written English, we see our, with our eyes. And so by using the quotation marks, it's easier for us to understand what's happening, right? So Marco said, 
um, she was like, you'll get used to them. That, so great sentence, and you put them in quotation marks so it's easy for us to see, right, everybody? So we, we all can see, and Mary did it too. Sue says, you'll get used to them. So we can look at um, Marcos and Mary Poppins, and we can see that sentence, and by having the quotation marks, we can imagine Sue, Sue's voice, and it's easy for us to, to know what's happening. So, well done in quotation marks. Okay, number three. Oh, okay, Miley says, uh, Sue says, you'll get used to them. Okay, Lolly, three. Their dog makes a lot of noise. Okay, so question number three. What's happening with the new neighbors? Lolly says, their dog makes a lot of noise. Yes. Sleepwalker, three. They have a dog and it makes a lot of noise. Yes. What's happening with the neighbors? The neighbors have a dog and it makes a lot of noise. Yes, Elena. They have a pesky, noisy dog. They have a pesky noisy dog. Yes, the neighbors have a pesky noisy dog. Marion, uh, their dog makes a lot of noise. Yes, the neighbor's dogs, the neighbor's dog makes a lot of noise. Helga, the new neighbor's dog, dog. I think there's one. So the neighbor's dog. The new neighbor's dog makes a lot of noise. Mary Poppins, their dog is barking all the time. Good, Mary Poppins. Umesh, their dog is always barking. So we went there, T-H-I-R, Umesh, because the neighbors own the dog, so it's their dog possessive, right? They own the dog, so it's T-H-E-I-R. Samuel, their dog makes a lot of noise. Tetsuro, the new neighbor's dog makes a lot of noise. Perfect, Tetsuro. Okay, Miley, the neighbor's dog barks a lot. Candy, the dog barks. Good, the dog barks. Marcos, the neighbor's dog is making a lot of noise. Seems like it's a big one. Yeah. Okay. So good sleepwalker. It seem it it seems it's a big one. It seems it's a big one. It seems it's a big one. Okay. That yeah. Seems it's a big one. Okay. That works. Sleepwalker. Yep. Yep. Good sentence. Seems it's a big one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Kai. The neighbor's dog makes a lot of noise. Maya. Joe feels annoyed because of their neighbor's dog barking. That's true. Good job, Maya. Sleepwalker. By the way, Joe and Sue don't have any pets. Maybe in the future. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Sleepwalker. Okay, here we go. Number four. One more question. Question number four. What does Sue say about the situation? Question number four. What does Sue say about the situation? What does Sue say about the situation? Miley, the smaller dogs, the smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Yeah, because, okay, Adel, I read an interesting story about this, Miley. So they did this study. Well, they did brain research and okay so for example um, dogs when they mature when they get bigger when they grow they they stop barking because barking is kind of like a, a juvenile right so like like babies cry and then when, when children get older they stop crying well the small dogs they have been bred and how like they're bred to be small, and so their brain never develops as an adult. So that's why those small dogs keep barking and barking and barking forever, 
because they, they never develop, their brain doesn't develop into an adult. So very interesting, right? So, so it's natural for, for puppies to bark, right? But as dogs grow older, they don't bark, just like babies cry when they're babies, and when we get older, they stop crying. But those small dogs, they're bred to be small, right? And their brain never develops into adulthood. So that's why they're nah! always. So because they don't, their brain isn't, doesn't develop as an adult does. Okay. What does Sue say about the situation? Okay, lolly number four. We should say something, yes. Yeah, Maya, or it's just a small dog, just they're, they're not, they don't develop into adulthood. Okay, Sleepwalker, um, they think they should talk with their neighbor about the dog. Good, good, Sleepwalker. Mitra, we should say something about that. Good. Marion, Sue and Joe should say something. Yes, Samuel, four. Sue says we should talk to them about that. Yes. Mary Poppins, Sue says we should say something. Yes. Sleepwalker, Tetsuro. Okay. Helga, Sue said they should say something to their neighbors. Yes. Tetsuro. She says they should go over to the neighbors together to say their dog makes a lot of noise. Yes. Marcos, she's, she was like, we should say something. Yes, Marcos. Perfect. Okay, Miley. Okay, Maya. She thinks they should go to their neighbors to gather Umesh, let's go, let's go and talk to them about it. Okay, good, Umesh. Let's go and talk to them about it. So, okay, you're, you're, them, you have to move them, Umesh, but very, very close. Let's go and talk to them about it. One more time, Umesh. Let's go and talk to them about it. Let's go and talk to them about it. Miley. Sue says they have to go to, they have to go talk to the neighbors about, wait, whoa, 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 okay, hold on, Miley. Oh, I need some water, my throat. Okay, Sue says they have to go talk to the neighbors together. Yeah, good, Miley. Maya, to talk to their neighbors about it. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. All right, so that was the questions. Well done. Well done. Now it's time to read it. So you haven't seen the sentence yet. Conver you've just, you listened to the conversation and I asked you questions about the conversation, but you haven't seen the conversation. You haven't read it. So that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to hold the conversation up to the camera and let's read it together. Let's read the conversation together. Candy, good. Talk to one's neighbor. That's Candy, that's very good. That's very important. Everybody look at Candy's sentence. Talk to one's neighbor. Very good. Very important. We should always communicate with our neighbors because um, we don't know. There could be problems. I don't know. So it's always good to talk, to have open communications with our neighbors because we live together. We live next to, it, next to each other. We live on the same, we live in the same neighborhood. So it's important to talk to each other. So good, good candy. Okay, let's read it. Joe says, Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right, but what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. We should say something. Good. When are you going to talk to them? <laughs> I said we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. Okay, let's do it one more time.
Okay, here we go. Sue, so, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right, but what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to their barking. We should say something. Good, when are you going to talk to them? I said, we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. <laughs> Kanon, hello. Good evening. Kanon. So, so <laughs> what's the name of the kindergarten? Because I've known a few Kanons. So please tell me the name of the kindergarten and then I will remember you, I'm sure. Because already Kanon. I, I know I, I know a few canons, so please, which kindergarten? Okay, good job. That was the reading. So let's check it off. All right, it's shadow time. It's shadow time. That is speaking time. So let's say the conversation together, yeah? Here we go. Let's say the conversation together. Here we go. Count down to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. These new shoes hurt my feet. These new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right, but what about the new neighbors? All right, but what about the new neighbors? All right, but what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. Their dog makes a lot of noise. Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. I don't think I can get used to the barking. I don't think I can get used to the barking. We should say something. We should say something. We should say something. Good. When are you going to talk to them? Good. When are you going to talk to them? Good. When are you going to talk to them? I said we. I said we. <laughs> I said we, you and I. You are better in these matters than I am. You are better in these matters than I am. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. We should go over there together. We should go over there together. Okay, good, good, good. Helga says, it's a nice reason you're better in these matters than I am. Joe's a chicken. He is a chicken. Okay. That was shadowing. Yes, it was. Well, let's, let's look at the sentence, or let's look at the conversation one more time, okay? Let's look at it one more time. <laughs> Hold on. Maya, I think she had something very clever. Let's see. This is what Maya said. Maya says, poor Joe. His shoes are tight. And on top of that, the neighbor's dog is constantly barking. Poor Joe. Joe never gets a break. Huh, Maya? Joe never gets a break. <laughs> Good, Maya. You're always very... You, you, Maya is, she's very, she has a good sense of humor. So Maya has a great sense of humor. Okay, let's look at it one more time. You're welcome, Helga. Let's look at it one more time here. Sue, these new shoes hurt my feet. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. All right, but what about the new neighbors? Their dog makes a lot of noise. I don't think I can get used to the barking. 
We should say something. Good. When are you going to talk to them? I said, we. You are better in these matters than I am. We should go over there together. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Oh, Mary. Good, good. So Mary, Mary Poppins says, I'm happy my husband is different. So Mary's husband is maybe proactive. He'll go over there, and if he sees a challenge, he'll take the challenge. Yes, Mary Poppins. Very good. Nice. Not like Joe. Joe's a chicken. Good afternoon. I can't read Russian. All right. Sleepwalker. Actually, it will be difficult to do something with a barking dog. Yes, that it, I agree, Sleepwalker, because um, probably the only solution is to get rid of the dog. Yeah, that, that's, uh, I hope, I hope you guys don't have that situation. I hope you don't have that situation. I don't, but um, you know for sure some people have that situation. So um, it's not a good situation that um, your neighbors have a barking dog. That would be difficult. Well, um, we're almost finished here. I forgot to look at the poll, right? At the top of the chat, I asked you to finish the sentence, and um, I forgot. I remembered now. So let's, let's look at the poll. Let's go to the top of the chat here, and there's a blue box. 96 people voted, and the sentence, I want you to finish the sentence, and the sentence starts. I'll never get used to, I'll never get used to, and our four choices, I'll never get used to public speaking. I'll never get used to crowds. I'll never get used to face masks. I'll never get used to technology. One more time. I'll never get used to public speaking. I'll never get used to crowds. I'll never get used to face masks. I'll never get used to technology. And the top choice, I'll never get used to public speaking. So that's speaking um, in front of people. They're watching you. They're listening to you, right? So it's not like you're talking to your friend in a coffee shop. No, you're giving a presentation. You're, you're giving a speech. People are sitting in front of you and listening. So it's very hard. It takes time to get used to. It takes practice. And then uh, the, the, second most, the, the second most popular, I'll never get used to face masks. So yeah, so this is the new age we're living into, um, right? The, the COVID-19. So we have to wear masks when we go into public, when we go in, into a place like a restaurant or a store or a supermarket. So that's something we need to get used to, but it's hard to, right? So um, that was the second most popular choice. The third, crowds, many people. So I'll never get used to crowds. So me too, that I'll never, that's for me, right? I'll never get used to crowds. So I've never liked crowds and like many, many people in one area, right? I'll never get used to crowds. And then, um, number four, tech technology. So only 8% of the people say, I'll never get used to, used to technology. So that's something, you know, we're in the information age. So um, that's good. Only 8% 8, only 8 will never get used to technology. Okay, good job. And nice, everyone. Thank you for voting. I appreciate that. Thank you for participating. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, I'm looking back now at the chat here. Lolly says, I'll never get used to public speaking. It's nervous. I haven't, I do it. That's my job. So I'm used to it now. Manuel May says, our neighbors have a dog. The dog is always barking, so it's difficult to manage. So Manuel May, I feel that's bad news. So I'm, I, I hate to hear that, Manuel May. I hope, yeah, that's tough. It's difficult. 
Uh, Tetsuro, thanks. Thank you, Tetsuro. Appreciate it. Marion says, I'll never get used to face masks. It's hard, Marion. Yeah, I don't like it, but it's the way it is now. Samuel says, I'll never get used to public speaking. Umesh says, I'll never get used to public speaking. Sleepwalker says, I'll never get used to face masks. I can't read Russian says, I shall never get used to crowds. Me too. Tetro, I'll never get used to public speaking. It just takes practice. Practice. Marco says, the solution for a barking dog is a special whistle. Oh, that's something. So, Umet, no, no, who is that? Manome. So, um, Manome, check out Marco's suggestion. A dog whistle. So maybe you whistle. People can't hear it, but dogs do. Ah, so that's, a, that's maybe a good solution there, huh, Marcos? Okay, good, good. Well, you know what? Actually, I always take a picture of the whiteboard. So that way you guys can check it out anytime you want to. So I'm going to get my camera, which is right here. And I will take a picture of the whiteboard. And I put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so you can check it out anytime you want to. And I'll put the, I'll put the conversation right here. There we go. So everything we did today is on the whiteboard. I will take a picture of it, and then I will put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so that way you could check it out anytime you want to. So let me go over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. And I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so that way you can check it out anytime you want to. Sleepwalker says, some people wear on the dog electric shock collar, too. Yeah, but if, you know... If your dog lives, right, so we're talking about the neighbor's dog. So the neighbor, they're not going to put the collar on the dog, I don't think. So Marcos, that's a, yeah. So everybody, check out Marcos' suggestion. A dog whistle to shut up the dog. <laughs> Get a dog whistle to shut up the neighbor's dog. <laughs> okay, um, all right, well, it's Tuesday. I will be back on Friday, everyone. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And I want to thank the Green Team. Mwah! Thank you, Green Team. Big supporters. Thank you, Sewu. Thank you so much for the coffee. You always, you're always so kind to me, Sewu. Thank you so much. And um, Umesh, welcome to the Green Team, Umesh. Thank you for joining. And... Um, if others, if you want to become part of the green team, please join the channel, yes, and support me as, so I can support you. Also, I have a Patreon page where you get extra content, so check that out, please. And um, yeah, and I have a book right, right there. <laughs> I have a few books. There's four, actually. So go to Amazon.com to check out the books. Anyways, um, I will be back on Friday. September 10th, everyone, September 10th. So please come and see me on Friday. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. Oh, you're welcome, Marcos. Marion, you're welcome. Mano May. Uh, Sleepwalker, thank you. Sewu, mwah, big kiss for you, Sewu. Thank you so much. Miley, thank you, thank you. Lolly, thank you, mwah, thank you always. Candy, mwah, thank you. Tetsuro, thank you. Okay, have a great week, everyone. I'll be back on Friday. So let's count down to say goodbye, shall we? Here we go. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone, take it easy and bye. <laughs>